Hey guys and welcome back to another video and this video is all about a push challenge. So we came up with a push challenge, a friend of mine and me. Um, he was pushing already for the entire season and I was like, okay, give me four days and I will be higher than you in Legends. So first off, I was just trolling around to be honest because I, was, I just wanted to troll him. But then we thought, okay, let's just try. Let's just see how far can I make it. I use Queen Charge Hybrid, so let's take a look at it, how successful it was. And uh, well, so let's just take a look at the first attack. And then at the end of the video, I will obviously show you guys where exactly we finished the season. Or like not the season, but like our push challenge. And well, so this base, I think I attacked this base already many times. This is obviously the huge benefit of me pushing with hybrid because, well, I attacked most of this ba those bases already. So I kind of know where everything is. And this base is pretty common. So I knew the test of would be over there. Um, it's pretty annoying to funnel most of the time because it's right next to the warden. And the warden is dealing so much damage. So even if you have like a yeti or something, it's really tricky to funnel. So using now the couple of loons I have and the baby dragon to somehow funnel this, this area, which is not working the best to be honest. Raising the queen up so that she is somehow staying alive. And my queen now is doing a strange move. Because normally I'm trying to wall break her into the cannon compartment. So that didn't work out as great as planned. So this time it's it's it's, it's different. This time we're doing a different entry. And charging the town hall to be honest isn't looking the worst. So the queen can reach the town hall. Taking the town down. Taking the expo down. This is such a great entry for us I think. But we're just switching things up, which means the hybrid is now from the bottom side instead of the top side. So that's always something which we have to keep in mind when using those strategies. Always be flexible. Always try to adapt whatever your queen is doing. Now we have the single frame turn on our queen. So we have to freeze that. And this is so far looking pretty good. Now let's hope for not having a hound against us. And it's actually super minion. So that's perfect for us because this means we're just using the warden ability, making sure that those... Uh, troops are not taking any damage off those high DPS troops, then just poisoning up the super minions, and that's it. They're going to die in there, and, well, my queen is doing once again stupid things. I don't know what my queen exactly is doing, I don't know what my queen is thinking, but... Queen, this compartment is empty, so please choose a different wall, I guess. Choose a different wall, go for something else, and yeah, that's uh, what she's going to do, I guess. Yep, she's going for a different wall. Please, God... Give this queen a brain. Give this queen a brain somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Either way, my queen should take down the enemy queen. The hybrid is looking strong. Royal champ ability is still not used. The queen is walking around the corner using her ability to take down the expo and the multi inferno tower. So this is not looking too bad. So I think we adapted pretty nicely to the strategy. Or like to the to the queen, to the <laughs> my queen being a goofball and everything. So I think it looks pretty good. Queen should easily finish off this base uh, with her last remaining hit points and obviously the army of wizards should finish off the king if he sh if he would have stopped running but uh, either way this is going to be uh, a triple so a great start obviously or like not really start because this is already day number four where i'm doing those attacks so uh yeah now the next base and this base i feel like is everywhere so if you guys have any problems of beating this base let's see if we can make it i know how to beat this base with um, with Blizzard Lalo, I think I did this already many times, um, obviously taking notes from Klaus, but still, um, I never attacked this base with hybrid, so let's see how we can do this. I feel like charging at the top side might be the best choice, because this bottom part looks really annoying to charge, so let's just charge at the top side. So, my goal basically is to get my queen into one of those expo air defense compartments, because with getting in there... We have access to the scatter in the core. That's that's the plan. So, so far so good. We did wall break quite a large part of those walls open. So the queen is... Let's see where she's going. So far she's not going to the compartment where I want her to go. But that shouldn't be too bad. Waiting for the enemy queen to engage my queen. Now the headhunter. This is looking not too bad. And this now as an entry is looking pretty good. I think. At least. I Yeah. So now, um, well, battery... Should hopefully not die. That would be great. Um, would be kind of painful to have the battery die out now. But either way, we have a couple of the troops coming out of the clan castle using the freeze over there just to make sure that my queen is not losing her hit points or like her uh, life already. Next rage just to keep her alive even longer. Next war break to get the queen into the next compartment because like I said, our goal is to get this queen 
into the compartment of the X bows because this means I can reach this enemy scatter shot in the core. That's the goal right now. So as soon as that's done, as soon as the queen is in that X bow compartment, which she is now, so let's freeze uh, the enemy queen over there. So now let's just add the hybrid. Let's just add the hybrid, protect our queen, and then our queen should eventually finish off this enemy scatter. At least that's the plan. Let's see if that works uh, like we intended it. Um, yeah, so the hybrid is getting sent in. The king on the outside is dealing with the Tesla farm. The hybrid so far looks good. The queen is hugging this one wall again. Now she's finally on her uh, yeah final building, which like the target which she was sent into the base for. And uh, on the outside, we have the king walking around the outside. We have the royal gem, everything getting into the town hall slowly. Nothing so far or not nothing just yet got into the town hall. Now the warden is following and now it's beautiful warden ability just to protect everything from uh, damage and obviously the town explosion. So this is looking so far pretty good for us. One loot onto the outside just to get rid of this annoying mortar because the mortar is dealing damage to those miners because it's, it's splash damage. So that's kind of annoying. Queen is tanking, meanwhile still the expo. Royal Champ is taking down the multi infernal town. This is looking pretty good for us. So this should be an easy triple. So if you guys had no clue how to attack this base, now you do. This charge should be pretty OP, I think. I think it should be consistent, hopefully. I don't know, but at least for me it worked uh, this time. So one more attack to go, and this is going to be on one of those teaser bases. I feel like they're everywhere. Um, but let's see if we can somehow beat this. I mean, I know how to beat this with Blizzard Lalo. Let's see if we can make this with uh, Queen Charge Hybrid. So I feel like Queen Charging the Town Hall from the bottom side is always a bad decision because you cannot wall break this uh, wall at the bottom side. So the wall breaks will always go around and this is bad news for you. So let's try to Queen Charge into the flank, into the Arch Tower and then into the Air Defense. That's kind of the goal which we have right now. Uh, for this I need to funnel kind of nicely, especially the Arch Tower needs to go down because otherwise... Well, otherwise the queen might walk around the corner, which is never a good thing to happen. Now the wall break. Come on, why would you have the entire Tesla farm right there? This is so unfortunate. Oh my, or just good base building. I don't know, one of those two for sure. So let's see if we can somehow work with this. First off, let's clear out this elixir storage. And that's where those uh, sneaky goblins are really nice. Clearing out the entire, entire um, building just with like two of them. And now, next wall break, getting my queen inside. I want to get my queen into the air defense. That's like the goal which, which I have right now. So the next wall break in there, just making sure the queen can reach even more things. And castle coming out. That's how you deal with those annoying headhunters and the super minion clan castle. Just poison, just freeze it up, just to make sure that they're not damaging anything. And those super minions are already dead before they were able even to do a couple of shots. And now the hybrid. The, now the hybrid from the bottom side. We did our job with taking out the left part of the base and now the hybrid in there as well. Nice trick, if there are bomb towers on the outside, use those miners on something else, like next to it, and then the Royal Champion onto the bomb tower. This is always a really good solution on dodging most of the damage over there. There were a ton of giant bombs still, which would have really hurt if we would have triggered this bomb tower. And well, this is looking interesting. Let's put it like this. I mean, Obviously, with taking out the bottom side of this base, like everything important is already gone, except a couple of ground X bows. But I think it was it was okay to use the uh, heals, both heal spells, both that early because the queen is still alive, has her ability left. We have over one minute still left, and so so this is looking pretty damn good for us. And pathing wise, it looks really good as well. We have one freeze left as well, so if something is getting into the range of that single phone tower, we have no problem with just freezing that up. And this is looking good for us. Obviously, clean up everywhere just to make sure that we're not time failing eventually. But that shouldn't be any case right now because this base is completely crushed. Minions, Sneaky Goblin, everything's sent in over there. And this is the next triple. So let's take a look where we finished after four days. And obviously, I will show you guys our my defense log as well because obviously I could have just rushed in all of my attacks and said, yeah, I'm really high up there. This is not counting. This is not counting. That's cheating. So we're showing the defense log as well so you guys can see how many defenses I'm in. So I would say let's just jump in over there and let's take a look at how far we made it, how far we made it up into the rankings after only four days of pushing. So... We finished off on 5,598 or something, I think. Um, this is my offense log. I think it wouldn't. it's not the best offense whatsoever, but I think the defense is pretty solid. Um, I have two defenses left open still, and we are in Germany number... 
Uh, let me check. We are number 109, which isn't too bad, which isn't too bad after only four days of pushing, I would say. You can see this, those uh, like this in my attacks as well. We have only 53 attacks. Most of them are used to get back into Legends. So pretty successful push, I would say. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see you guys. And of course, bye-bye.